Hi again, this is uh, Dustin North with Low Filter Racing. Here we go again with another episode, quick video on simple and clean uh, upgrades. So here we go, I have an iBox sway bar that is gonna go on a 92 to 95 Honda Civic, uh, preferably with sway bar mounts already. So if you don't have them, um, here's just a few things that you're going to need to do. You're going to need to go to a junkyard or go online, find some, uh, some brackets for your Civic if it didn't come with this way bar. Um, I preferably went with, with brackets from a Acura Integra 94 to 01 brackets. So this is kind of what they look like. They go to the subframe, mount the su the sway bar so you're gonna need those next <clears throat> you're gonna also need the sway bar links okay here's the stock ones I'll be using aftermarket but for the install I'm gonna show you how to use stock items so here we go we got an iBox sway bar kit um, the part number is 4017.312 three one two and this is just the rear sway bar kit um, I don't need a sway bar on my minty because I have aggressive spring rates in the front a little bit softer in the rear just want to tighten it up a little bit more so here we go so I'm gonna be opening it up right. so you're gonna find a few things you know a sway bar Get that in there. Then comes a few stickers. Nice package job and some instructions, okay? So all I'm here to do is kind of show you how you need to pre-plan your sway bar install before you actually install it. And I will do another video on installing it. So we have an Eibach sway bar kit. Um, they make great springs and great stabilization for your sway bars um, I'd always recommend going with iBlock. okay so this is the sway bar as you can see it uh, didn't come with any bushings in the tabs so we need to replace our stock bushings or energy suspension bushings and put the new sleeves in uh, pretty simple okay um, what you're gonna have to do is either have your stock sway bar like I do just to show you guys what it is like to do a stock um, or you can just get the energy suspension kit and just call it a day so we have that one all right and then we have this sweet one as you can see it does have those bushings in there at the end right so we need to be replacing those we're going to be pressing out the sleeves and then pressing out the bushing and installing them onto the new one to get it ready and then we'll install the links. All right, let's get a better view and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so here's another view. Uh, a little bit closer to the table, just wanted to kind of show you guys what's going on. So I'm just gonna set the new bar aside. And what I did, I actually found a small enough, um, found a small enough socket in a long enough socket to fit in there okay it's a quarter drive and it is a five millimeter long socket probably just got from walmart or something just something laying around so um pretty much what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab the end of this actual sway bar tab and i am gonna press out let me see if i can get better lighting on that i'm gonna press out that little bushing inside okay so simply i'm just gonna put it in there and slide her on out okay now I'll fall right out so you have these little guys chilling inside those bushings okay so next thing you're gonna need to do after you get that out put that aside put that aside you're gonna need to get these bushings out sometimes they can be hard sometimes it can be easy um, usually they're pretty easy because they're worn out so <clears throat> I would suggest always to replace them but um, these will get some fight. Uh, what I like to do is try to fold them in, get a flat head a little bit, and just prime in. All right, so you get your flat head, and I like to just kind of 
put it right here. Right here on the edge. Right there. And then I like to press in and kind of force it out a little bit. Okay? It's going to take a little bit of work. But as soon as you do it, it's going to pop right through. Alright, just like that, and it's out. Okay? Pretty simple. We're going to set that aside. Alright, and then you just do that one more time, and then we'll do the install. Alright, so the next step. So you're going to have your hardware kit that comes with your iBox sway bar. It's hardware kit 4017.312HK. So pretty much the same as the sway bar except with HK. Hardware kit. That's what it stands for, okay? Made in the USA. Look at that. Made in the USA. Wrap it. So anyways, we're going to be installing these guys back into the aftermarket sway bar all right so what I like to do is take out you'll find that there's a little pre-lube packet uh, in the package okay it's like a polyurethane grease so what I like to do is just take a little bit of that rip it off take a little bit of that on your on your hands uh, not your hands but your fingers and just kind of rub it on this bushing because this bushing hasn't had a lot of attention in years so if you're going to be using the stock one I suggest leave it up so just do that clean your hands if you want but pretty much just got to put it in now so start by kind of twisting it in there at an angle if you press at an angle should start to squeeze in there and then eventually you'll be able to you should be able to pop it right. all right on to the second one i uh, found that heavily grease it and to try to force it in from the inside instead of the outside um and i also had to kind of use a tool a uh flathead to squash it down a little bit and I'll show you how so what I did is kind of worked it in there to round it and then as soon as it starts it'll start to squeeze in there and what I do is press in from the back side of the bushing in so it just pops right in all, all around Make sure you don't miss any spots because it'll just slip right out like it is now. And then you should be able to pop it in with no problem. So as you can see, it's a little fight. I would suggest using new bushings, not old bushings. But like I said, I'm trying to Show it the people that are on a budget that want to just do a quick upgrade with their stock components um, by just buying a sway bar to stiffen up that rear end if you have wider wheels, wider tires, wider track. So, slipped right through with a little bit of force, but just clean that up, make sure it looks all pretty right. And there you go, bada bing, bada boom, it's in. So, in on both sides there. Okay, and what we're gonna do is get some of this, get these back in there. So these are just the spacers that go in between. And usually it's gonna be a little bit tighter. Go from the inside again, just cause that's our pattern nowadays. Or right now I should say. <sighs> Try not to press it in sideways. And just Get your little socket. Should be able to work it in. Okay, well I will, t I will tell you guys right now that a little hammer probably just does the trick. Tapped it in there right, nice and easily with the 
with a little hammer and it looks like it's pretty solid now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one really quick. So we got those all nice and installed and bada bing bada boom. What you gotta do now with your outblock sway bar is <coughs> put your mounts back on. They should center up pretty good. Firm is perfect. I want that to be nice and tight in there. And then you have your links on. Sorry about the wiggly camera working on the mount situation, but pretty much you're going to be looking like that. So I didn't show you the aftermarket links, but I do have adjustable links for these as well. Um, so pretty much gonna do that and then last of the equation I actually have these little guys the new bushings so we just need to go ahead and put those on and we're uh we are good to go so I'm just gonna pop these on really quick just to kind of set them there and after that I'll have these in play and we'll be good to go. So just remember Eibach sway bar kits, 92 to 95 Honda Civic. Um, it's a great upgrade and we will have the install of the sway bar in our next video. So subscribe and please keep watching. Uh, this is low filter racing, Dustin North on the scene and uh, watch for your updates. Thanks for watching.